the San Joaquin Valley has some of the worst air pollution in the United States. This video will break down where it comes from, why the problem is so bad, what actions you can take to protect yourself and your community, and more about environmental justice and advocacy. The San Joaquin Valley is made up of eight counties, from San Joaquin County in the north to Kern County in the south. The Central Valley Air Quality Coalition uh, attributes our root causes of air pollution to three main categories that we use the acronym DOA. For us in the San Joaquin Valley, it's development, oil, and agriculture. So sprawling land use and transportation planning, particularly warehouses, distribution centers, um, you know, magnet sources where, again, pollution can be concentrated. The oil industry has a very long history in the southern part of the San Joaquin Valley. Some of the most productive oil fields in the United States are in Kern County. So energy production absolutely has produced a lot of pollution. Um, and then as you already mentioned, agriculture, but particularly industrialized agriculture, right? Mass scale agriculture with hundreds of millions of pesticides applied, fertilizers, um, you know, very intensive agriculture. DOA and other sources emit many harmful substances known as pollutants. What does this mean for our health? One of our main pollutants is particulate matter, or PM. The most dangerous version is PM 2.5. This pollutant is about 30 times smaller than a single human hair. The San Joaquin Valley has the worst PM 2.5 pollution in the United States. The state estimates 1,300 people die early each year in the San Joaquin Valley due to PM pollution. When PM 2.5 is inhaled, it can reach the deepest parts of our lungs and enter our bloodstream. This can lead to damage of vital organs like the heart and brain and causes inflammation in the whole body. It has been linked to asthma, diabetes, heart disease, heart attacks, strokes, and other serious health conditions. Oil and gas facilities are the largest stationary or non-moving sources of direct PM 2.5 emissions in the valley, and about half of the valley's PM can be traced to the pollution combination of cows and cars. PM 2.5 also comes from wildfires. Another of the valley's main pollutants is ozone, which is good up high, bad nearby. Ground level ozone is toxic and is created when pollutants from industrial dairies, oil and gas facilities, factories, trucks, and other sources are combined with heat and sunlight that causes them to react chemically into ozone. When inhaled, it's like getting a sunburn inside of your lungs. Ozone exposure can make your lungs weaker and cause asthma, chest pain, coughing, and congestion. PM, ozone, and other pollutants are impacting all of us in the valley. However, sensitive populations such as children, pregnant people, elders over 65, people who work outdoors, and people with pre-existing health conditions are at greater risk. Almost half of our population in the San Joaquin Valley. Not only do we have a persistent and ongoing challenge, we now see accelerating climate impacts that are in fact making the situation worse. So in the summertime in the San Joaquin Valley where we have a lot of the smog or the ozone pollution because it's high heat, we're now having extreme heat and catastrophic wildfires that are pumping all kinds of particles into the air at the same time that people are breathing unhealthy levels of ozone. And we know from the science that those impacts are only going to increase. Air pollution and its impacts can be scary, but there are some ways to protect yourself. The first step is to get informed about the air in your area. The Air Quality Index, or AQI, is a simple tool that can help you see what the air quality levels and their general risks are. Under 50, the AQI is considered good. 51 to 100 is moderate. 101 to 150 can cause issues for sensitive populations. Above 151, the air is unhealthy and you should take steps to protect your health. If you can see it or smell it, it's bad for you. No matter what level of AQI, all air pollution is unhealthy. It is important to check in on how you're feeling and take steps to reduce your exposure as needed. We recommend signing up for SJV Air text alerts for the best real-time air quality information. On sjvair.com, you will need an email address and a phone number to sign up. Once your account is set up, you will be able to select monitors you would like to get information for and at what level of AQI you'd like to be notified. Alerts are offered in four languages and there is an SJV Air app available for iOS and Android. One of the best ways to protect yourself is to stay indoors when possible to avoid unhealthy air. 
Another step you can take is to filter your air by using an air purifier and to regularly replace any air filters in a car or home. You can use a DIY or do-it-yourself air filter with a box fan, duct tape, scissors, and most importantly, a MERV filter with a rating of 12 or 13. If you must go outside, consider wearing a mask. An N95 will provide the best protection. These steps are a great start to protecting your health, and it turns out we are not the only ones responsible for doing so. Who protects us? Starting at the federal level, the United States Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA for short, has authority to regulate air pollutants and polluting industries under the Clean Air Act. EPA sets and enforces national ambient air quality standards for pollutants like PM and ozone. Next, the California Air Resources Board, or CARB, oversees all air pollution control efforts in California to attain and maintain health-based air quality standards through rulemakings and enforcement activities. This includes state implementation plans to reduce pollution from sources controlled by the state, mainly mobile or moving ones such as cars, trucks, and tractors. The San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District, or Valley Air, is responsible for air quality management strategies across the valley's eight counties to meet health-based standards. Valley Air plays a large role in regulating and enforcing rules at stationary or non-moving sources, such as factories and refineries. There are local authorities such as counties, cities, and other agencies responsible for general plans, cleanup plans, and other local project reviews. Beyond these agencies, there are people who work to protect our health. Some of them are part of nonprofit organizations like ours. CVAC, or the Central Valley Air Quality Coalition, was founded in 2003 and is a coalition of dozens of valley-based community organizations fighting to restore clean air to the San Joaquin Valley. Many of our members live and work in the valley. CVAC acts as a watchdog of the agencies responsible for our air quality to make sure they are doing everything they can to protect our health and to create our own pathways to clean air. We work with partners to share air quality education and public comment opportunities targeted at some of the Valley's most vulnerable community members. We engage in policy work to defend and shape new laws impacting air quality in the San Joaquin Valley. As part of this, CVAC hosts an annual action day to bring community members to the state capitol to share their lived experiences with air pollution and the solutions they want to see with Valley representatives. CVAC is informed by and practices environmental justice. Environmental justice, or EJ, is based on the belief that all people have a right to be protected from environmental pollution and to live in and enjoy a clean and healthful environment. EJ seeks to ensure a fair process that is inclusive of those impacted, or procedural justice, and to address the unequal distribution of environmental hazards and benefits, or distributive justice. As a result of environmental racism, certain communities, especially those with people of color and lower incomes, are affected more by pollution and environmental problems. This happens through systemic decisions that allow polluting sources like factories or highways to be located near communities of color. This concentration of polluting sources makes it harder for EJ communities to stay healthy and safe. The San Joaquin Valley is home to 20 of the 30 most disadvantaged communities in California. There is a long history of environmental racism that has allowed polluting industries to set up shop near disadvantaged communities in the valley. The valley is home to the largest concentration of industrial dairies in California. Pixley and Tulare County has about 4,000 residents surrounded by 26 dairies housing around 140,000 cows. Despite being the most productive agricultural region in the world, many valley communities are faced with high rates of food insecurity. In California, 92% of those living within 1.5 miles of oil and gas drilling are people of color already in overburdened areas. Being that close to drilling has been proven to cause significant health impacts. Kern County alone hosts about 70% of the state's oil production, with just four corporations making up half of all PM2.5 emissions from our large stationary sources. The San Joaquin Valley is one of the most polluted places to live by design. Our region has had federally recognized unhealthy levels of air pollution for decades, and agencies like Valley Air have not stepped up to tackle some of our biggest polluters. 
They have even helped them pollute more. Valley Air is an example of a captured agency. This means that the agency favors and protects polluters and their profits rather than protecting public health by using the strongest standards and enforcement available. There are also elected officials and others in positions of power who are captured and put industry profits before public health. This practice has allowed generations of Valley residents' health to be harmed. CVAC works to hold agencies responsible for their public health missions and to alleviate the generational harm allowed to date. We aim to improve quality of life in communities by reducing air quality burdens and finding ways to increase benefits. Here are some ways you can help. Share what you've learned with your friends and family. Share this video. Speak up when you can at public comment opportunities. Valleyair.org posts public meetings and workshops you can join in person or remotely. Take action by joining CVAC for our annual Action Day to tell your representatives that air quality is an important issue for you and what you'd like to see change. Report any environmental issues through identifying violations affecting neighborhoods or IVIN. IVIN is run by our member organization, Central California Environmental Justice Network, and it is one way we can ensure issues are followed up on by the responsible agency. To fill out a report, go to ivanonline.org. You will input a description of the issue along with the location and any supporting files like videos or photos. Your contact information is kept confidential. If you are in Stanislaus County, you can report a community concern to the Valley Improvement Project's EJ Task Force on their website or via phone by dialing 209-589-9277. We have all of our resources available at www.calcleanair.org. Follow us on social media to stay up to date. Together we can create our own path to clean air in the San Joaquin Valley.